Hello everyone, this is Ron Williams with Web Builder Templates. Uh, today I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial on the dark mode. Uh, just a very basic intro into it. Um, just to kind of get you started on how it works. Um, might make a later video going a little more in depth, but hopefully this kind of gets you in the right direction. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go up to tools, go to options, you want to come to HTML. Down here in the CSS section, you want to go down to where it says dark color scheme. Here you have a drop down box with two options. In most cases, you're really going to want to use manual. The preferred color scheme option is going to use, if someone has a browser already set up for dark mode and they view your website, it's going to use their preferred colors in, the, in their browser. However, if you're wanting to really control the colors of how it's, your site's going to look on a browser in dark mode, then you really want to use manual. So let's go ahead and keep it at manual. So the first thing we want to do is we want to include a toggle button so that we have some control over or it gives the, the user manual control if they want to click it and view it in dark mode or not dark mode. So the first thing, let's go ahead and include an icon on our page. Now the icon can be whatever icon you really want to use, but it's very common to use this this one here for light dark mode. So we're going to use that in this case, but you're free to use whatever you like. So for now we're just going to go ahead and put that on the page, like so. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to be able to control the background color of the page. Let's say we want to change the background color from, it's currently a white, let's say we want to go to a darker color okay you can change whatever colors you want but we're just going to stick with the basic we're going to go from a white to a darker color so the first thing that we want to do is we need to set up some styles for the background so let's go to the style manager here which is under tools and we're going to create a style specifically for the page background so we're going to click add for now I'm just going to call this background you can call it whatever you like. What we're going to do is go down to the background section. We're going to go to where it says background color. And this is where we want to choose what our background of our page is going to be. I'm just going to stay with, let's go with a, a white smoke, just a little off white. And then when you click back to go to dark theme, let's make it not quite black, but we'll go kind of a charcoaly, darker charcoal color. All right and then click OK. And as you can see, we've created a style called background. All right. Now, in the workspace, when you start adding styles, dark and light colors, you, you can go and actually see what it will look like in your workspace. If you go to page, and then you want to click on toggle dark color scheme, when you click this, anything that you've applied different colored styles to between light and dark will show up. As, as you can see, if I click it right now, nothing changes because I haven't done anything. So let's do the background first. Go to the page, go to page properties, go to style. Now typically when you style the background of your page, you will do it right here by click, selecting a solid color, an image, or whatever that you want to do. However, we want to use what we created. So let's come down here to the predefined style, which we're it's also called a class, and we're going to pick that new style we just created. All right. And as you can see, as soon as I hit OK, you can see that my background went to white smoke. Now to test it, if I come up here to test the toggle, if I click this, you will see the background has switched to the dark charcoal color. And if I click it again, it goes back to the original color that I set for the, for the light color. Now let's go ahead and do this button. So let's go back to our style manager. So we'll go to Tools, Style Manager, Add. Let's call this one Button. Now, since an icon is technically text, we want to come down to the text section where the color is. And you'll see that there's a text color and a text color dark theme. This is what we're going to uh, select our color for the button or the icon. So since it's white smoke, I think I'll go with a nice red. But then when it goes to dark mode, 
I think I'll go to, well, let's just pick a, a blue. All right, and as you can see down here in the style, that's the color of my text or what my icon is going to be. Let's hit OK. And I've got the button created. Hit OK. Now we need to apply the style to the button. So if you make sure you don't select it initially, go back and select it because you need to kind of refresh it. So if you had it selected when you were creating the style, you kind of want to click off of it, click back on it, come over here to the properties manager. Here's the class, which is our style. Click on the drop down, you will see the button, choose that, and immediately you can see that it's the style is now in control. Because if you go to the properties of this button, typically you would set everything right in here. However, the style is what's going to control this button. Let's go back over to our page. Let's now click on our toggle. So when I click this, the background should go charcoal, and this color should go to a blue. As you can see, that's exactly what I want. All right. Lastly, let's go ahead and throw some text in there. All right. So we'll just type in this is some text. All right. Now, we're going to use styles again to control this text. So, what I would like to do is let's go ahead and just center this. Normally you could double click this, you would uh, set your, your color, your font size, all that stuff, but we're going to use a style. So let's go back up here to uh, Tools, Style Manager, Add. I'm just going to call this one Text. All right, let's go down to the Text section again. Here you want to pick your font family. So just for now we'll just stick with Arial font size uh, let's make it let's make it sizable we'll go 48 as you can see down here text color all right so let's go ahead and make this text color uh, red again and then when it goes to dark theme we'll just leave it we'll make it go to white all right hit OK now to apply that style to your text simply you can just simply double click on the text and select all the text inside right click go down to style and there's your styles just select text and there's my text all right if I go back up here to uh, page now if I select toggle dark you will see that the text goes from red to white like I so let's go ahead and preview our page So here's our page, not centered. I didn't center anything. If I click, we want to add it. We, right now the button doesn't click and do anything. So let's go back and add the event to it. Double click on your button. It's one thing we forgot to do. Go to events. What we want to do is add an on click event to it so that when we click it, it does something. The action, if you go down to actions, we want to pick toggle dark color scheme. Hit OK. All right. Now we've made an event. We've attached an event to this button that will activate the dark theme. Let's go back to previewing it. If we hover over it, as you can see now, it does exactly what we want. And so you would use this same thing for every object on the page. You can, um, uh, you know text, objects, uh, icons, etc, etc. You would do the same thing. You can set up different styles to control those colors. So hopefully you find this uh, informative. Uh, if you have any other questions or would like to see some more done with this, please let me know. Comment below and let me know what you'd like to see and uh, I may do a video on that. Thanks again. Thanks again.